good day friends I am just showing you today how to make an awesome little boat if you look you'll see a ton of people have broken copyright and messed with Benchy which is a shame uh, because they have said they would like us to not do that but watch this if you go to my.sketchup.com you can create your own epic boat design let's start by setting a simple template to millimeters when the simple template loads, delete the gentleman in the middle of it and bring out a rectangle. I'm going to choose for my boat to be 60 by 20. So I'm doing 60 comma 20 on the keyboard. And when I press enter, it snaps to those measurements. I'm going to then use the cool little view tool to view to extents or to zoom to extents. When I orbit and I'm going to use the orbit button on the mouse so I'm pushing the scroll wheel in I'm going to make this the back of my boat and I'm going to make this the front of my boat I'm going to push pull the boat up and I want it to be 20 millimeters high so I'm going to just make it wiggly so I clicked and released type 20 and press enter and it snaps to those measurements I'm going to switch to the select tool you can do that with the space bar or by clicking it and I'm gonna grab the entire object and when I've got it all selected I'm gonna right click and make it a component and I'm gonna call it hull at that point I'm gonna go back to the select tool I like to use the space bar and then I'm gonna double click on my object so that you can see I'm editing that component with the two-point arc I'm gonna to go to the back of my boat and I'm going to decide how wide I want the back of my boat to be. And then I'm going to make sure my front of my boat ends at the tip. And then I'm going to just stretch out and make my boat some distance to the width. And this will be the arc of my boat. This next part is really fun to see. So I'm going to click on the select tool and I'm going to click on my new component. And I'm going to do control C to copy it and control V to paste it. When it sets down, I'm gonna just grab the corner, I'm gonna match it to the other corner, and then I'm gonna right click on that object and I'm gonna flip it along the green axis. And yours may be different depending on which numbers you typed first. And then another neat thing is I'm gonna grab that end point and I'm gonna just snap it to the other end point of my hull. I am going to go back to the select tool so I just press the space bar and I'm going to double click on one side of my hull it doesn't matter which you pick and I'm going to erase the outside of it and I'm going to do that by using the push pull tool and just pulling all the way down and then I like to take the little red tip and if you touch one of the end points it'll snap to that exact size and you can see that is looking like a ship's hull I want to do the awesome offset tool to determine the width of my hull you can see it picked its own measurement which I am not interested in using so I'm gonna do control Z to undo that so I'm gonna click again and with it adjustable I am going to choose to make the thickness of my hull two millimeters so I type two on the keyboard and press enter and now my hull is two millimeters thick I'm gonna use push pull again and I'm gonna use the letter P to switch to it and remember this whole item is 20 millimeters thick I'm gonna just move down a little and I'm gonna make mine 12 millimeters down so I'm leaving six millimeters of area to play with for later I'm gonna take this wall and I'm gonna push it to the zero notice I'm touching the edge and I have just cut out my awesome ship hull alright it's time to add slope to our awesome ship to do that we're gonna double click to edit that component select your select tool and we're going to grab the whole bottom half so if we orbit from above we can see that we got the top and the bottom shapes of our ship and then we're going to use the scale tool which is the bottom choice and then we want to do the scale about opposite point option so that just sloped my ship on the sides I want the back of my ship to go in I did not want to do the bottom choice though I always want to do scale about opposite and then I'm gonna orbit around to the front and I'm gonna do scale about opposite again 
and that gets you the cool ship shape that you're trying to make. I'm going to go back to that scale middle. Now notice right now the middle is hidden inside the edge of the ship, but if you just hover over that space, you can still find it. When you've got a shape that makes you happy, you can click the select tool and click outside to make it permanent. At that point, you have got your awesome ship shape, your boat hull, and at this point, go to the amazing outer shell tool, and when you click it, it turns that into one amazing part. And there is the main part of your ship. When you click save, it asks where to put it. I put mine in my SketchUp folder, and I'm gonna name it Boat Hall 2, because I've made many of these as I was exploring the right way to show you how to do it. And then my preferred building place for these fun projects like this is Tinkercad. So then all I'm going to do is export my awesome hull as an STL. When I do this, it asks if I want to keep the name Boat Hull 2, and I'm going to tell it yes, and it saves it, and then you can continue the rest of this project in Tinkercad with me.